Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna do a little bit of truck camping and as you saw me pull my truck in, you saw that I don't have a topper. So we're gonna, we're gonna use my 10 by 10 awning as a makeshift one and we'll see how it goes because as you can see the lovely clouds in the back uh, might have something to say with that. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll get set up and uh, we'll see what the weather brings us. See you in a little bit. All right, so got it taken care of. As all of you know, these 10 by 10s, they're not the easiest to get done by yourself. Um, so I put it up next to basically where the truck was, where you last saw it and everything. Got it kind of where I needed it to be. And then I pulled the truck out of the way and then I kind of shoved this over so that we could get uh, a little better uh, spot. So we had about two and a half... Ooh, I have a tug bug on me. Hold on here, peeps. Oof. So we had about two and a half, two and three quarters inches of rain, probably about five inches yesterday. So the ground is super, super squishy. Um, I actually had a different spot planned on the property for this, a little more picturesque, but you know, here we're back up a little bit. I mean, the blue skies, even with the big fluffy clouds and everything, is pretty still a pretty nice view and everything but I did have a different spot intended however with all the rain we had the ground is just so super saturated right now and I didn't want to get um I didn't want to put any ruts on the property um so hopefully it's going to dry out in next week which won't be next video um because I want to go down by the pond which hopefully because of all the rain will have a lot of water in it um but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully things are going to dry out a little bit and we'll kind of get going on the videos. But here we are. So, so far this is what it's going to look like. Now, I swear I had all four walls. And I looked and looked and looked. I can only find three. 100% I know I have four. But I guess it doesn't really matter because the one side closest to the truck probably doesn't need one. Um, especially because the wind does come from, from the tailgate to the front of the truck is the direction of the wind. However, the last couple storms have been coming from the opposite direction, so hopefully, hopefully it's not going to foobar me on that one, but we'll see. Um, obviously, when I say in the next couple videos when we talk about going truck camping and everything, this is not going to be set up. So this is just the setup today to talk about do I want to buy a, a truck cap, a truck topper, or in the next video, I'll actually be inside the cab and doing that kind of truck camping. And we'll see which one we kind of like best or if I want to maybe purchase one of the tents that you can get that goes in the back of the pickup. However, because I do have a three quarter ton power stroke, I kind of feel like having a tent like that in this, you're going to kind of get laughed at. Especially since you can kind of see in the background, that's my 24 foot um, Keystone Springdale. Uh, yeah, so this is meant to tow stuff like that and, and bigger. So I feel like if I stuck a, a tent in the back of the truck, I'd definitely get some looks. And people would definitely think I was, uh, uh, I don't want to say a wuss, but definitely think I wouldn't be capable of handling it when, well, there she is. She sits right there and she definitely does go out with me. She just hasn't for a little bit. But let's get, uh, let's get a little more set up and we'll kind of talk a little further about being in the back of the bed and... We may talk about the camper. We're kind of, me and her are kind of beefing a little bit. I, I have mixed feelings about her, so I don't know what the the future uh, on the channel is of the camper, especially with what is coming up with the truck camping setup that uh, I hope to have. So let me throw some walls on and uh, I'll come back and sit and we'll go grab Max because I know he is dying to be out here. Of course, he, he saw the GoPro come outside and he was like, um, don't, don't, don't forget me. Like, I'm here. I got you. So I'm going to hurry up. I'll, I'll probably go grab him right now and then I'll throw the walls on and I'll see you guys in just a little bit then. All right, guys. So I got, uh, I got two of the walls on. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the last wall here. I think I am going to put it at the end, but I'm going to leave this open for a little bit. Um, 
So I've done this before. This was not the truck I owned when I um, did this. So I was hoping that we were going to clear the cab. Um, my other one was a little shorter. My other truck was a little shorter. Um, so I used to be able to just put a little block underneath and uh, kind of put it over the cab itself. And then we would just kind of sit in the back and, you know, watch the motocross or watch the hill climbs or, you know, whatever. Just be able to have a nice canopy over you, still have a little bit of breeze and everything and worked out well. Um, not going to work out very well for camping if it rains because you can see I have quite a few gaps and we'll kind of go over to the, one of the walls. That's a lot. That's very, very bright. So we'll turn around. And we'll do this side. You see, it doesn't quite go to the edge, as you can see. Of course, there's Max's stuff. I think I got Max somewhere in here. So, but yeah, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get the cab. Well, not the cab. I'm gonna get the back here set up. Um, I'm gonna put um, a tarp down because I did not get a chance to clean uh, my mat in here yet, and that's just my pads for the tent still kind of thrown in here from last time uh we were out here camping and as you can see um i haven't been able to wash my truck with all the rain so the back is pretty dusty so we'll go ahead and get uh, the tarp set up and i'll go grab my cot get that kind of set up which i'm just thinking about the fact that i did not measure it and i think it's longer than my truck read so i guess we're gonna find out how well that's gonna go in just a moment so we'll be back and uh, let me go see where Max went, and we'll see where we are. Yep, it it went well, guys. Uh, <laughs> I kind of figured this was definitely uh, going to be sitting on the tailgate and not inside uh, the bed, but that's all right. Um, this is not the setup. This this cot is definitely going to be just for the tent alone. This is way too big for any vehicle that I end up doing um, truck camping in, and give you a little a little view up as you can see she is squeezed in there's not a lot of space um max is not going to be with me tonight um this is not why he won't be because i can't enclose him in and everything um i don't want him waking up in the middle of the night to the coyotes and running off so it's more of a safety thing so it's just gonna be me tonight out here um that's all right but that is one thing I have to take into consideration when I go to figure out what I am going to do um, for a bed if I do end up doing in the bed truck camping. And that's kind of what the video is about is deciding is this where I want to be doing my truck camping or do I want to maybe do in the cab or maybe something else. I haven't decided yet um, but I know that I need I need another apparatus when it comes to camping in the cold or like late fall early spring any kind of weather and everything the tent the tent is really nice um but it just doesn't handle the cold or i don't handle the cold i i guess i should say that um when i was tent camping the very first video when we were at parkside in red lodge um overnight it was under 32 degrees so it was i think on the First night it was, if I remember right, like low, low 20s overnight. And then the next night where I actually filmed, it was a little bit warmer. It was a little bit closer to being closer to freezing. Um, Max enjoyed it. Max was having a great time. I was so worried that he was too cold. He was, you know, bucking the blanket off of him that I had on him because I was so worried. I froze my butt off. If you guys watched that video, you know that I can kind of complain that I was freezing and had to figure out some other some other arrangements. So I do want to camp in the fall. I want to camp in the spring, but I needed I need a different uh, apparatus and I'm not quite ready to do hot tent camping. I need to do a lot more research on where I can go here in Montana and um, kind of decide what tent I want, the stove, etc. and everything. So, um, moving forward, obviously, again, I'm pretty sure I've said this like five times, this is not the setup for truck camping. This is just to figure out if I want to be back here. And 
there are some negatives to being back here, and I know a lot of people are probably going to think I'm being picky about it, but for me, one way in, one way out, I really don't like. Um, my tent has two ways, has a door on each side. Um, my camper sitting behind me here has three ways out, I think, um, and if need be, I literally could kick a window out if it's not even the safety window. So that is something I need to think about. Um, being back here, you can't always, um, get them to seal. So, obviously when we were talking about, you know, this, again, not the way we're going to do it. Um, obviously this is not wind or waterproof or anything like that. Well, a topper isn't always either. So there's something to think about that. The cost of them is what bothers me. I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, you're buying a new vehicle. Well, a new to me, not a new vehicle, but a new to me vehicle, that's an added expense. It is, but I already expected to have that expense. So I'm looking at, can I make what I have work? Or how much do I need to spend to figure out how to make it work? And there are specific things that I want for my channel. And being able to show not just women that you can go out and do this by yourself, but to show anybody that you can go out there and buy, do this by yourself. I don't want a tremendously huge build. And I know I'll talk about it in the next video too. Um, people don't have the power tools that some of us have access to or own personally ourselves. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So I want to do as minimal as a build as I can to show people you can do it. Now I'm not advocating go out there and go be sketchy. Um, you know, still, let's be smart about stuff. Don't be in areas you shouldn't be in. Do a lot of research. Still be safe and everything. But everybody can get out here. Everybody can go camping. You guys can all enjoy, you know, amazing blue sky. Um, fresh air. So, I want to be able to show people that you can use what you have. Don't have to do so much of a build. And just get out there and enjoy getting out there so main priority of the channel so all right let's talk about max so obviously i want max to go with me um but having such a tall truck is always an issue now am i getting rid of having a tall truck uh no nope so for anybody who is like well you know if you just get a smaller truck you wouldn't have this problem no we're not doing that um so they're gonna stay big and that's just how she is. So, um, so as I stand right here, you can kind of see this is the tailgate where she hits me. I probably said it on this channel, I think, once or twice. I'm only 5'2". That's on a good day, depending on what shoes I'm wearing. Uh, this would not be a good day. So, uh, I'm not 5'2". And the truck is sitting more at an incline, so it is a little, a little lower. Um, so getting Max in and out of here is an issue. Um, I don't want him jumping in and out. As you guys know, Max is part German Shepherd and uh, Golden Retriever. So I don't want him to potentially injure himself uh, getting in and out of such a high uh, space. Uh, German Shepherds, as some know, I don't know if all everybody knows, they don't always have the best joints. They have hip issues and everything. I don't want to accelerate any of that in him. So um, I'm looking at getting a ramp for him. I got a ramp for the cab. Um, a previous dog before him basically blew out what would be a dog's ACL MCL and couldn't jump in and out of vehicles anymore or really do um, big big stairs and everything so I do have a ramp for that um, I just got to teach him how to do it now could I use it for this no unfortunately because of the length of it and how tall the truck is it's too it's too steep and I don't know that I will get Max to do it. I think he's probably aged out of the training part of his life. Um, just getting him to use it in the cab, for the cab, is probably going to be um, a sight to be seen. So, um, a lot of things to think of. So, just a lot of things to think about, um, setup-wise, what's going to be the best keeping the warmest, making sure that Max can come with me, what's going to be the safest. Um, you know, 
I'm going to do what I consider to be stealth camping in my setup. Now, what is what is my stealth camping? I'm not going to be at uh, a parking lot at an airport. That's not me. Uh, for all of you that do that, more power to you. I ain't catching a charge. Um, I more want to be stealth, stealthy. Um, and by the way, when I talk about stealth, it is nowhere near what the stealth king does. And we all know his name. We ain't we ain't no cloth chaser. So if you know, you know. Um, what I think, for me, the stealth camping I'm going to be doing is more when I'm traveling and everything and I'm on my way to like a sister on the fly event or if I'm traveling anywhere and I decide, you know what, I'm a little too tired. I need to pull over and sleep for maybe an hour or two or maybe it was too ambitious or there was a weather issue. I want to be able to go somewhere um, and peacefully get it done, get in, get out, nothing sketchy. Again, I don't advocate being sketchy. Be safe, everybody. All right. Um, so here in Montana, a lot of people have a camp. A lot of people here in Montana have toppers on their trucks. It's not weird. It's it's very usual and everything. So you can kind of slip in and be amongst people. Unfortunately, a lot of the cities across my state have started to uh, put overnight camping as illegal. So any of the normal safe havens, Walmart, Cabela slash, I think, what are they, Bass Pro Shops now? Um, Cracker Barrel, places like that, you have to literally call ahead and then find out if they're in the city limits. So in Billings, which is the biggest town that way, um, which is where I live south of, they have outlawed camping overnight. Now, do you still see it? Sure you do, but I don't want that hit <laughs> like two, three in the morning, scaring the crap out of me, Max probably barking and, you know, almost potentially, uh, you know, getting hurt or having something bad happen to me. No, thank you. Um, you cannot be at Walmart. You cannot be at um, Cabela's. I think Cracker Barrel is right at the city limits. So I will actually have to check that out and see if they're still in the safe zone or not. Um, we do have a couple different truck stops uh, in our area and everything that I could that I could overnight camp at and everything. Um, but I, I don't know how risky I'm going to be with this. I'm just... I'm advocating for people to just get out, go have fun, enjoy life. I'm not really advocating for try to be the scare, do the scariest things you can do or try to get away with something. So that's, that's, I may do it once or twice. Maybe I'll do a little more depending on, you know, people are like, Hey, let's see this a little more uh, right now. I don't really want to say, no, I'm not going to do stuff, but I can say it's pretty far down on the list of things we're going to do on the channel. So, um, I think we talked about a lot of negative stuff. We should probably find some positives to, to truck camping and everything. So, um, it is popular. Oh, shoot. I'm going to go into a negative right there. So, uh, I don't like to do things that everybody else does. I like to be myself. Um, I'm very proud to being uh, a diesel owner that is a woman because it's not normal. Normal. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, I, I take pride in that. This is this is my baby. I've talked about it before. Um, this is my 2006 F250 with a 6.0 power stroke in it. Yeah, I'm a 6.0 girl. Um, the next one is probably going to be 6.0 also. So whatever I end up doing for truck camping, it will be diesel. So, and part of that is one. I, I'm a diesel girl. I love it. I've wanted it since I was eight years old. I finally got it. Just you know, like a decade ago, I don't want to give it up. Um, the other thing is, again, I don't like to be like everybody else. And on YouTube, a lot of the creators, they are half tons. They all run half ton gassers. Now, is there somebody out there that runs gas or excuse me, runs diesel? Absolutely. I've seen them. Um, I don't really vibe with some of their channels, but that's cool. That's all right. You know, we don't have to vibe with everybody. Um, I may pop in and watch a couple of their videos here and there. Um, it's, you know, that's cool. People probably aren't going to vibe with me. You know, they're going to find something that they don't like about me or they don't like my truck or, you know, they don't like diesel or whatever. Um, but I will say, I don't know if I've ever said this on my channel. I'm not a coal roller. If you don't know what that is, that means out that big old tip that I have. Um, now a little bit of cold does come out cause she's older. She's no six, you know, she'll shard a little bit. Sorry. I, you know, it's, 
just how that is. Um, but you are not going to catch me with those big old plumes. Um, if you do it, good for you. Not my jam. It's not my vibe. I'm not going to do it. So if anybody thinks I'm a coal roller, no, nope, you can shut that down right now. So if you guys thought, you know, I'm that certain diesel owner, most likely not even close to being true. Um, I'm definitely... I definitely do my own thing and I'm not a lot of the stereotypes of a, one, a big truck owner and two, the diesel owner. So, um, give me a chance. Don't think that there are certain things that come with being a diesel owner that I 100% am. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, but anyways, so next vehicle got on a rant. Sorry guys. Uh, I'm very passionate about my baby. Um, and I'm very passionate about my next baby too. So, um, it's going to be diesel. Um, I don't like to be like everybody else. And so as much as I want to say having a chopper is amazing and everything, everybody and their dog has one. Everybody and their dog, that's how they camp. I only have maybe a handful of people that I've seen that actually do it in the cab, which um, intrigues me. I think that's amazing. I think them using what they got and not doing an extravagant build great now do some have a little bit of an extravagant get build for their platform and everything sure but you know what it's still not nearly as much as some of the other people um that we've seen on here uh i have pinterest so i've seen a lot of different setups um are they cool yeah 100 percent. they are cool but again it really doesn't pass the vibe check of what I want this channel to be. I want you to be able to run what you brung, basically. Get in what you got, use all the stuff you have, and just get out there, have fun, enjoy fresh air, enjoy getting out, quit being in four walls, quit listening to white noise, get out here and get some green noise in your life. It'll make a difference. I, I promise you. I promise you. All right, guys, I had to reset. It's getting, it was getting a little, little toasty right here. I had to get a little water. I had to think about some stuff. Um, so let's see. We talked about Max. Uh, let's see. Did I talk about the cold? I don't know. Did we talk about how we wanted to heat this thing? So I know in my last video, I talked about, I wanted to get a, um, a power source, power battery, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I don't want a specific brand. I don't want to say their name in case I don't want to be rude. Um, I don't have a problem with their brand. It's just I don't think what you can do with their brand, with their items, is going to work the best for me. Right now I'm kind of looking at um, either like an EcoFlow or a Blue Eddy. Um, I don't really want to have a diesel heater back here. Um, this vehicle or the next one, I don't want to be cutting into my vehicle. No, thank you. Um, now, I have seen some people that um, change out, like, the glass on their toppers and everything um, and have the unit sitting on the ground outside and then they just pipe it in, possibly. That is something I have thought about. Um, put it on the list. We'll figure it out. Um, but I want that power box, you know. I want that big battery pack. Um, to either be able to have just a little a little heater to run during the times when I'm awake would not run it while I was asleep Although yes, I will have a co2 uh, Monitor in here and everything because you're gonna Likely end up cooking in here with propane and everything you need to have you need to have your appropriate monitors and everything so we will make sure that we're safe when we're doing all that and I want to I want to be able to have a an electric blanket. So I want to be able to plug into an electric blanket. Uh, last video I talked about, I want to be able to have my creature comforts. I want to be able to have my air fryer. I want to be able to have my coffee maker. Yeah, look here. 
Uh, I'm not a fan of being called prissy. You can call me bougie. I'm all right with that, but uh, I'm I'm a badass bougie girl. So there's certain things that are just gonna have to happen, and if it makes me prissy, uh, it irritates me to use that word. Um, persnickety, whatever. Um, so be it. All right, guys, just been enjoying the last couple hours of sunlight. I think the sun is supposed to set in about an hour or so. So I wanted to kind of get in here, show you I got kind of set up. I got to get my, uh, got to get my pillows, um, and I got to get my new lights. Um, so like I said earlier, I filmed this, well, I am filming this, out of order. So the next video was actually filmed before this, so... I actually have some new gear in this one, which it's not really gear, it's more like filming gear. So I had, I bought a new um, bought a new tripod, which I've been absolutely loving. Um, it'll hold the new camera that I bought. I didn't want to tackle my new camera with this. It is inside, so this is still on the GoPro and everything. Um, so the next one after the next one, if that makes sense, um, I hope to be down by the pond. And doing a little tent camping down there. Um, I'll have to do a little recon tomorrow and uh, see what the, the land looks like and everything. I know it's pretty flat down there, so that should be good. But I'm not quite sure about all the bugs. And before we go to bed tonight, I'll be grabbing my um, citronella candles out of my one bag. And putting probably a couple on the tailgate and everything. And maybe a couple on the ground. Um, I don't know where else I can kind of stick them. I guess I could probably put one right here on the rail. Um, I'm hesitant to put one over there like on this rail um, just in case like I roll over in the middle of the night and like I you know flip it over there and everything. Definitely don't want to be starting myself on fire and everything. So mosquitoes aren't so bad but they are definitely out and they're going to be a little annoying tonight. So we'll get, uh, we'll get that all handled. I'll grab my new lights because I am slowly preparing for when we officially do um, truck camping and everything. So hopefully that'll help. So the next video will have my horrible lighting and everything. So I apologize in advance to that. Um, working on a, a couple of things and everything, trying to figure out what is the best setup and everything. Oh, look at that big old PC on there. I don't know. We might have missed it. Big old fat mosquito. So hopefully he's already drank for the night. Oh boy. Yep, we're definitely going to need to get the citronella out and uh, get staked out. Because I'm going to get eaten alive tonight. So I'm going to hang out a little bit longer. Um, Max is running around somewhere. And uh, I'll be back when I kind of light this up and everything. When we get closer to going to bed. And then we'll kind of talk about maybe the morning. Or I'm just going to say goodnight. And then we'll just wake up and we'll just chat then. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, just getting ready to, um, call it a night. I got to put a couple of citronella candles up and then, uh, should be good to go. Although I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, it is starting to lightly sprinkle. So I'm going to kind of put a bunch of stuff away in case things get crazy. Cause we potentially have high winds and maybe a thunderstorm tonight. We'll see how this goes. Um, and in the morning, I'll talk about this light that I'm holding. I wish I would have had it um, a couple weeks ago when I filmed uh, the inside the cab video and everything, because this thing is amazing. This has um, got a... Get off me, Miller. Dang it. You're freaking me out. 
<laughs> so this actually has a cover on it. Um, it's not doing so swell with the whole, like, not so bug attractant, but uh, I have different uh, covers for it, so we'll use maybe a different one next time. So I will see you guys in the morning, and hopefully, hopefully I'm not woken up to some scary moments. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning guys. So that was a pretty wet, damp sleep. As you can see, I already have uh, everything kind of torn down and everything. Um, it was super humid last night. We got um, not a lot of rain, but enough rain to, to make this very annoying, um, uncomfortable and everything. I got standing water. I'm gonna have to dry a bunch of stuff out and everything. Um, I was going to do a breakfast Sammy this morning in the pie iron on the uh, propane stove and everything, but I feel like this video was already going to be long enough. We'll just uh, we'll put that back into the hopper and probably do that one um, when we tent camp next, um, down hopefully down by a pond, or um, I'm looking at a couple different spots on hip camp, and we'll see where we end up for that one, but uh, I just wanted to kind of wrap up the video a little bit. Um, I'll talk about my light real quick. Um, and then we'll just, uh, final final thoughts and we'll go from there. So last night I had this popped off. This section right here comes off. And I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got uh, a spot where I can put a carabiner or I think I'm gonna take um, some paracord and make a loop on it and everything so I can hang it up. And then this, I think I can do this one handed maybe. Yeah. So this is just a lens cover. This is actually how it comes. Um, the lens covers are extra. Let me get that pop back on. One side. Other side. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So, so we're down here. So we got. Um, red and kind of more of an orangey color and everything for bugs and um, comes with a bag for that a bag for the actual um, light itself and then this goes from like three to nine feet in the air and I'll link it in the description but I will warn you this was this was an investment these are not cheap um, I will probably pick up another one they'll probably have a sale 4th of July um, I think this video is going to come out between Memorial Day and Father's Day, and I know they're having sales for both those. I'm sure they'll have another sale, um, 4th of July, and probably Labor Day and everything. So I'm going to pick up another one. Um, again, this was an investment, and I'm just going to tell you that this one with the lens covers, I think, ran me about one, either 150, 159 or like 175 um, so I too was very shocked by that sticker price, but the way it looked last night, um, all the filming I'm going to do at night, I'm very happy with this. Um, I wish it was a little cheaper, but sometimes you can't just get the cheapest thing to get the job done. So again, investment. So you're, you're aware of the sticker price now. So. All right, guys. So that was, that was the light I had last night. I was just holding it up. Um, while I was filming and everything, uh, you heard me be annoyed by the gross little Millers with his little dusty little wings all touching me and everything last night with it. So I don't know if I needed to have more of the orange um, lens on or what, but I guess no matter what, I was probably going to get bugs anyways. Um, but a couple parting thoughts on this uh, on this video and everything. So why am I not thinking about a van? or um, like a small SUV and everything. So um, minivans just aren't my thing. Um, it's not my vibe, that's cool. Um, if you guys, you know, run what you brung. So that's cool too. Um, cargo vans and everything. Um, I want, uh, I want a truck. So the truck is always what I've always leaned to. I'm not gonna say that I'm never gonna have one. Um, just not right now, it's just not for me. Uh, small SUV after driving a pickup for you know over 20 years and having that you know longer wheelbase it is hard to go to a vehicle with a shorter wheelbase when you're driving in snow which is kind of where that vehicle is going to 
is going to live basically. It's going to be more about camping in the winter time, camping in the slushy snow in the springtime and everything. So um, a short wheelbase vehicle just is not my favorite to drive. And so I've kind of scratched all those. So, but the one last thing I want to talk about, I know we had all these negatives and everything, and I don't know that I really found a positive to truck camping other than it's like the tried and true method. Um, so hopefully I don't get a lot of comments about, well, do you even want to go truck camping? Well, yes, I do. But we're talking about what is the best thing for me. And I wanted to point out a couple things. This, this video wasn't about camping. This video was more about the thinking and the preparation of what is coming up next. So the next video, I'm in the cab. We talk about the pros and cons of cab camping versus being in the back of your truck and everything. And so I just wanted to prepare everybody for when I do my reveal of what I end up getting. Because since I've uh, videoed this out of order, I already have what I have. So it's a matter of trying to explain to people why eventually when you see what it is, why I went the way I went. So it'll make more sense in a couple videos once I get to actually do the reveal and everything. So, um, hello Max. All right guys, I think this is where I'm gonna end it. Um, I will see you next time for In the Cab truck camping. Um, I'm going to go play Beat the Rain now and get everything packed up. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share this video and everything. It really helps the channel a lot and I'll see you, I'll see you next time. So have a good week. Bye.